Hello, I am Dr. Supratim Sen, Senior Consultant Pediatric Cardiology at Narayana Health SRCC Children's Hospital at Mumbai. Today, I'll be discussing life-threatening pediatric arrhythmias. The normal heart rhythm, as you might know, is a synchronized contractility of the heart. Initially, the receiving chambers or the atria will fill up with blood. They then pass on the blood to the pumping chambers, the ventricles, and then the ventricles will eject this blood to the rest of the body and to the lung. And this is based on the electrical conduction system of the heart. Now, the normal electrical conduction uh, can be interrogated with a normal ECG, and the ECG has five waves, P, Q, R, S, and T, and a normal ECG is known as a sinus rhythm. All patients who have a normal rhythm will have a sinus rhythm. Arrhythmias are any abnormal rhythm. And when we talk about life-threatening arrhythmias, we are basically talking about the fast heart rates. So this is an ECG of an SVT. An SVT, you can see, has the waves very close together. And that means that this patient has a heart rate of nearly 300 per minute. SVTs can be life-threatening uh, because if the heart goes on at this speed for prolonged periods of time, you can have dysfunction of the heart muscle. The patient can become lethargic. Uh, they can have increased sweating, uh, respiratory distress, and finally, they can even progress to a shock. So we need to treat this on an urgent basis. We can use an injection to try to terminate this SVT. We can also give these patients a shock known as a cardioversion. And then to prevent recurrence of the SVT, we will continue a medication known as a beta blocker so that these patients are protected from future SVT. In older children, there is also an invasive procedure known as a radiofrequency ablation where we, we can treat the cause of this SVT, which is a, kind of like a short circuit within the conduction system, also known as an accessory pathway. Now, coming to the more dangerous type of arrhythmia, that is the ventricular tachycardia and the ventricular fibrillation. These are heart rates where the patient immediately loses cardiac output and they lose consciousness. And in the children, this is commonly seen in patients who have cardiac channelopathies. Channelopathies are ion channel disorders. They are genetically transmitted. And there's a wide variety, but the commonest are the long QT syndromes. And these patients can have abnormal baseline ECGs. But the clinching diagnosis is if you do an ECG during the episode, you'll see the characteristic ventricular tachycardia and fibrillation, which is a very dyssynchronous, chaotic type of a rhythm. So it loses its normal uh, rhythmic synchronicity, which we see in the normal ECG. Now, this is an emergency where you have to shock the patient immediately to get the normal rhythm back. Some of these patients can revert to normal rhythm spontaneously, and then the patient might just present to us with recurrent syncope. And interestingly, a lot of these patients are first referred to the pediatric neurologist because the initial diagnosis is actually epilepsy. And only once the neurologist thinks that, okay, this is not a brain condition, they refer to us for the cardiac evaluation and treatment. Now, these arrhythmias, the ventricular arrhythmias, are we prevent this by, again, continuing beta blockers long term. But patients who have recurrence of arrhythmias on beta blockers, we do a surgical procedure known as a sympathetic denervation or a cervical sympathectomy. And that prevents the surges of noradrenaline and adrenaline from the nerves into the heart. And even if that is unsuccessful in stopping the arrhythmias completely, then the final treatment in these uh, ventricular tachycardia patients uh, is a defibrillator, which is like a pacemaker, but it gives tiny shocks to normalize the rhythm. Now, obviously, this is all very technical, but it's important for a person to know about this, be aware about this, so that we can suspect these uh, in the patients, diagnose it and treat it appropriately. Thank you.